Hello everyone, welcome to day 15 of 30 inks in 30 days. This is take two of this video because I don't know why, but my phone has decided to stop recording each time I try and do this. Um, but I freed up some space, hopefully that will take care of it. And fingers crossed it's not actually my iPhone 8 um, trying to die on me. So here we go. Today's ink is Colorverse Golden Record. This is one of my absolute favorite inks, along with yesterday's. They're such a beautiful pair together. This is just a really warm, golden-toned orange-brown. Okay, it stopped recording again, um, but I've restarted it. Fingers crossed. And I'd already done the chromatography from my first time when I tried to do it when I didn't know that the video had cut out. So just this very, very beautiful kind of maroon wine color to red to, to orange to bright yellow. So very nice chromatography. And the golden records are two phonograph records that were included aboard both Voyager spacecraft, which were launched in 1977 and they both contain sounds and images from Earth. They're a time capsule and are meant for any extraterrestrial life who may find them. Neither Voyager craft is headed to any particular star, but Voyager 1 will pass within 1.6 light years distance of star Gliese 445, which is currently in the constellation Camelopardalis. I hope I said that right, um, and it'll pass by that star in approximately 40,000 years, give or take. The spacecraft will be encountered and the record played only if there are advanced spacefaring civilizations in interstellar space. But the launching of this bottle into the cosmic ocean says something very hopeful about life on this planet. That is another quote from Carl Sagan. So again, I just, I absolutely love this ink. It is such a warm red, brown, orange, golden toned hue, and it makes me very happy. It feels very cozy, and it feels really good writing with it in this pen. I feel like it's a super good match, and the medium nib writes really nicely and you get lots of nice, nice shading. So no sheen, no shimmer, and I just, I really, I really love it. Then here it is in my cognitive surplus notebook. Like yesterday's ink, it did really, really well on this paper. A little bit of feathering, but not much. This, is, again, is the 71 GSM 100% recycled paper. A little bit, it came through in a few spots, but really not bad at all. Not as much shading, but it still came out looking really nice. And again, here is another look at that chromatography. Super pretty. I love how it looks like a desert sunset. Those almost look like mountains. <laughs> and that is it for today. As always, I thank you so much for watching and being here. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!